Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. I just got a new pair of boots. Check these out. These are called the Polar Bear. They're from Nordiv 8. I have reviewed a variety of other uh, boots and different footwear that these guys put out. Um, these got, are going to run you around 80 bucks. They have them in three different colors. They're going to go all the way up to size 15, which obviously is quite large. Take a look at that boot right there. Just got them. I'm going to give you the details on the actual boot, and then we're going to certainly test them out. And then I'll come back in a later video or a later portion of this video, I should say, to let you know what I think about them. So again, you can get them from size six all the way up to size 15. These are a size 12. I'll give you a couple of the, uh, the features that they've noted to me. Take a look at that, that grip there. Pretty aggressive. And you can see you've got the, the grip and then the dip here in the middle and then more grip on the end. They're saying that that's kind of based off the polar bear paw, like print. When you look at a paw print of a polar bear, you have that space in between the front part of the paw and the back part of the paw. Hey, I don't know a ton about polar bears, but I do know that when I look at that, I say that's a pretty aggressive uh, sole for a shoe, but I can tell you overall, it's pretty lightweight. I've definitely had some boots in the past um, from different companies that I'm like, that feels heavy. This one does not feel heavy. It feels very lightweight. I like the color there. Like I said, we've got a couple different color options. I'll roll in some photos here so you can see what they are. Um, I think all three of the colors were cool, but I, I thought this was the nicest one for me. Just kind of goes uh, with the style that I like for, uh, for an outdoor hiking boot. So we've got water resistant fabric on the outside. Again, I've said this in other videos, but waterproof as far as a piece of footwear, like it's pretty much either neoprene or straight up rubber, right? So anything like this, eventually if you stand in a stream long enough, it's gonna get wet. But the idea is if you go hiking with this thing and it gets damp or gets some water on it, it's not going to let the water in uh, super easily. Uh, TPE for your insole. One thing I do like about these is you have the little pull tab on the back. It's a little thing, but it makes it easier to get a boot on. And then you've got a very soft collar around there where you're, it's going to rest against your ankle. Sometimes people put something really rugged in there and therefore um, maybe initially it won't bother you. But as you hike for a while, that's going to start like rubbing against your ankle, even if you had a pair of thick socks on. So there's a quick look at the uh, boot. I'll grab the other one here, just to show it to you. These are the two of them, polar bear. Now we're gonna uh, put these on and head out for a little bit of hiking. And then uh, I don't wanna just like go on one walk and then let you know. So I'm gonna wear these for a bit and then I'll report into you what I think about these, uh, what I think about these boots. All right, for the first test for the boots, we're gonna do something relatively simple, a little bit dangerous, but still simple. We're gonna go into Walmart. All right, so quick report in on the boots. Comfortable. I'm um, glad they have a lot of cushioning around the ankle because for this initial use, they are pretty, um, they're not broken in. And so if they were like something really, um, not soft or some sort of hard casing around the ankle, it would definitely be digging into my ankle, but comfortable so far and they fit true to size. All right, I'm in my uh, my side yard now. This is kind of test number two. Obviously walking to Walmart, it's not really a test, but you can see behind me here, a bunch of logs there that have been, I cut up a bunch of logs, uh, trees down. And so I'm gonna be hauling the logs. I'm just gonna put this on time-lapse and use these as kind of a work boot. I will tell you that they are they feel pretty rugged and they're comfortable and we'll uh we'll get some experience just kind of doing some yard work here with the boots on I've done some walking with these in the woods a little bit already, but we're gonna do a little bit more today and uh, head out onto some New Hampshire trails to test out these boots. So one of the tests I sometimes put boots through is I, I ask myself like what type of sock do I need to wear with these boots because if I have to wear like a really heavy sock super thick to like protect my foot 
then that tells me something about how comfortable or how not comfortable the boots are. And these I've used just like a light hiking sock or a light athletic sock and they've worked great. So just a heads up in my experience, that's one of the things I've noted that, um, yeah, I haven't had to wear some super special sock to offer a ton of cushion while I'm wearing these boots. All right, we're back here talking about the Nord of 8 Polar Bear boots. Um, you saw footage of me just wearing them around, wearing them, doing some yard work, and also hiking in them. Um, I can say right off the bat, I don't have long-term experience. I haven't had these for six months. But I can tell you of probably all the Nord of 8 um, boots and shoes I've worn, which are probably, it's probably in the, probably in the double digits maybe at this point. So, I mean, quite a few. If not that, then, you know, eight, nine pairs, something like that. This is my favorite pair so far. Um, comfortable. The more I wore them, the more they broke in, which was good. I never found the sole like overly uh, aggressive. That, that is dirt, in case you're wondering. I never found the sole overly aggressive, like it was super clunky, but I did feel like it gave me good grip. I was, it's been raining pretty consistently here in New Hampshire for the past probably week and a half, on and off a lot. So, um, in my experience using these, even, you know, in slippery or wet conditions, it was a solid, uh, solid performer. Like I said, I do like that they have multiple colors. I liked all the different options that they have. This one is my favorite. Um, I would say if you're looking for a, an extremely light um, hiker, then maybe you want to go in a different direction. But overall, I think these are, you know, quite a solid performer. 80 bucks to me. Um, I made a video recently about a Nightcore headlamp, and I said uh, the price for that one was... 50 bucks and I was like that feels right to me 80 bucks for these feels about right to me they're a little bit less maybe 75 65 bucks I think 65 would be like oh that's really a good deal uh, for what you're getting but um, they, these have functioned well I think it's a reasonable price for what you're getting and uh, they've done a good job as always I'll report in about the longer term use I did wear these not just in the wet but also like it was actually raining at some points drizzling and misting and um, my feet never got wet and I didn't have you know, any kind of fancy socks on. I just had like kind of a basic cotton sock on and my feet never got, you know, drenched or anything inside the boot. So, um, yeah, they've, they've been a good boot. I've enjoyed using them. Let's hear your thoughts. You've seen them in use. You've probably seen some of the details that I've shared with you about them. What do you think about them? And, um, yeah, let's get some feedback on that in the uh, comment section now about the Nordiv 8 Polar Bear boots. Hey, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.